good. Welcome to the video. Today, I'm going to be doing a re complete review of the Ferrari 458 Spider Racing Wheel by Thrustmaster. So, this, I'm going to get straight into the review. This is a great wheel for, like, somebody who doesn't really want that much of, like, the force feedback and stuff, and they just want, like, the simple bungee system, and they want, like, a reliable, good wheel that feels good, I guess, because... Why would you not want a nice wheel for your racing game? Now, I'm a big racing gamer. <laughs> racing gamer. I play a lot of racing games. I mean, I still play, like, shooters like Halo and stuff, but I still... I've always come back to racing games after I've tried new stuff. I'm tangled up in my own wires right now. Oh, God. This is so unprofessional. Anyways. God, I'm, dang it! Oh, wait. No, I gotta go that way. Yeah, okay. <coughs> so the wheel is great. It feels good. It's got the little red bits because it's the spider wheel, which in real life the spider wheel actually has the red bits, like the 458 spider wheel, Ferrari 458 spider wheel. Um, it's smaller than the real one. I don't know like exactly how much smaller it is. Um, and it has shifters. It's got all the buttons and stuff, except for this, which is annoying. I mean, yeah, you can plug in any pedals from the Thrustmaster family that you want. And yeah, you can't plug in the TH8A shifter because this is a really cheap wheel. This is the cheapest wheel that they make, um, and it's priced around, I mean, you can get it for like 50, but like on Amazon, it was like 90 to $100, and it's just so much fun. I, I, I mean, every time I take a break from it and then I go back on it, I'm like, I remember this feeling because it's so much fun. I just love it. I just don't know what I like about it so much, <clears throat> but it's still just a ton of fun to play around with and uh yeah i mean i highly recommend buying one let's get into the review 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 um first of all let's get into the wheel so the wheel is a scaled down replica of the 458 spider wheel from ferrari um they got the proper licensing and everything and it's really well done i think it looks great it feels great it's got this red bits <laughs> i've said red bits like five times in this video already anyways the red parts parts um, they're, they're almost kind of sticky feeling, and if, like, somebody uses the wheel with big hands, and then you go on it, you're like, ugh, but then after, like, a month or so, it'll just, you know, go away, and then it'll feel normal again, um, but it feels really good, um, I like the feel of it, it's very satisfying to turn because of the bungee cord system, which means that there's no motors in anything, motors, there's no motors in here, uh, I just farted, <laughs> Yay, oh god, now the smell, oh god, oh. Back to the video, so I was talking about the wheel, yeah? I was, yeah, so the wheel also has shifters on it, which are also very satisfying to click. The only problem is they're very, very loud and they, they, they're they just like the top part of the shifter. The real wheel has the ones that go like the all the way around and they're bigger and they're longer and they're easier to click and they're more satisfying. These are a lot louder and harder to click and I think they're shorter and smaller, um, which I, I mean, it feels okay but I don't like it too much. Honestly, I like for the shifters to feel more like lightweight. They feel metal because they are metal, but still, I mean, I feel like they should be like bigger and longer and more down the wheel because I feel like that would be a lot easier to shift. Um, yeah, wheel and staring at it. Um, it. It just doesn't feel quite as good as I think it should or it could because I mean, honestly, if Thrustmaster just scrapped the red part, and they just called it the spider wheel, it would still get the same amount of buyers, and they'd all be like, oh yeah, this feels good, and then more money. Don't ask. Um, okay, so yeah, it also has all the buttons and stuff. So it's got it's got the A button, the, the A button, the B button, the Y button, the X button. It's got these guys, these are the shifters. So the RB and LB, they act as the shifters. So if you wanna like go through a menu, and like skip each manufacturer like in the menus these are what you would use obviously if you're using the controller if you're using the wheel you'd use the shifters um because that's what they act as um b is the handbrake now and this is forza b is the handbrake um which i kind of like but i wish it had like a real handbrake i mean that'd be cool but i don't think any things like that have real handbrakes which is sad <coughs> Ugh, god i burped um <coughs> Anyways, Y changes your view, and Y is, they have Y and, wait, they have Y, they have Y and X, and then they have A and B. Yeah, okay, that's how it works. Um, obviously, this is the actual wheel. This 
acts as the part that you turn. There is no thumbstick, and you can't like press down on these because there's no stuff to. I mean, where would you press down? Like just food, throw the for wheel forward. It won't work. Now, surprisingly, this is not very surprising actually. They they they, they hit it pretty well. The engine start button on the wheel is actually the D-pad, um, which you can kind of see because it's like little arrows. Um, but still, it's like a very, very um, well done. So it's very well done. I mean, it looks great. I mean, really, I really love the design of it. I think it like it really just captures you, and it, especially if you're driving the same car in the game, which I wasn't. But still, still great wheel. Now, um, let's get into the pedals. The pedals are very plasticky that may be because they're plastic but I mean yeah they're plastic they feel like plastic but I honestly do not like the pedals they're very like springy and they don't feel good and they're really you gotta press down way farther than you should if you want it to actually you know work right and if you press down on a pedal without touching like the other part it'll just flip forward like <laughs> that's really annoying okay like you should add like a weight like right here to like weight it, like weight it down. And it, the little like sticky bits on the bottom, they don't work at all. Well, they work a little, but I mean, if you're actually gonna press down full throttle, then it's just gonna go like, mm, it's just like, this is gonna, the pedals are the car, right? If you don't have the pedals, how are you supposed to move? Well, the pedals actually physically move if you press them, which is just kind of dumb in my opinion. And they're all black and you can switch around the faces if you want, but I just left it on like, it is because there's really no point. Uh, but anyways, that, that pretty much concludes the review. I mean, it's a great wheel. I'd highly recommend you buying it. And like, if you, it's only $100, okay? So it's cheap. It's really cheap. It's the cheapest what the Thrustmaster makes. And for the price, I think it's amazing. It's like a $300 4K camera. Except, I mean, it's like equivalent to a $300 4K camera. Like a 4K camera, camera that is actually good for $300, like that's an insane deal. This is only $100 and Black Friday makes it like 60, okay? So buy it, 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 buy it. Okay, yeah, that's my recommendation. But if you wanna get the shifter, just go out and step up and play another $150. So yeah, see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed and um, Give me tips, because I'm not very good at video making. Bye.